Come on. Praise and honor to God our Father, to my friend and brother, great host, great friend, great brother, beloved in the Lord, Amen. Pastor Anthony Ray Harper. Amen. Can we just give it up for Pastor Harper? Oh no, you can do better than that. Come on, come on. Uh -uh, you can do much better than that. We step up to the plate. Every need that I had, just been a great host, and I just thank God for His friendship. Yeah. Yeah. And I want Him and the New Hope Church to know that I am grateful Amen. that you've allowed me to come back another year. Amen. Amen. I learned as a young kid that when people are nice to you, you just ought to say thank you. Yeah. Amen. And I want to say thank you to you all who've been such marvelous support down through the years. Yeah. And I thank God for your presence and, and, and for being able to call you my friend. Yes. Amen. 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 And then to all these pastors who are present, to Pastor Trotter. Uh, didn't this choir sing the night? Amen. Amen. And then to, to Pastor Pride, good to see you, man. And then, and then I was going to talk about him if I didn't see him, but I see he's eased in. Pastor Live. All right. Amen. Amen. We've known each other down there. And any other pastors who are present, all preachers who are present, we thank God for your presence. Amen. Can we just give all of the preachers a big warm round of applause? And then to this marvelous aggregation that came from Downsville, we thank God for your presence. And I've been preaching for five nights. It's the fifth night. And uh, I don't need to tell you I'm tired. And I'm ready to go home. Amen. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 feel like, I feel like Tony Bennett. I left my heart <laughs> in San Francisco. <laughs> amen. Amen. But I'm, I'm enjoying myself. I've had a marvelous time. I forgot, though. I forgot. I've been in California for a while where the weather is just about on a hot day, it's 78 degrees. That's a hot day. You know, you know, where where when you when you go outside at night, there's a breeze that meets you and hits you in the face. There's, there's some air blowing. I've been here in Texas and when I go out at night, don't nothing meet you but mosquitoes. No breeze, ain't no air. Look like this, I can't wait to get the car until I cut the air on, man. Oh. Amen. But we thank and we praise God. Touch your neighbor and say, it's all right to laugh in church. Amen. Right. Amen. I, I, I want to I wrap this up tonight just by challenging the church. Um, Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. You do know that every building with a cross and a steeple on top is not necessarily a church. Because if you're not reaching out to the lost, then you're not really being the church. Are y'all still with me? Don't, don't get quiet. Don't get cold on me. Just, we just going to talk a little bit tonight. St. Mark chapter 5, and I want to start reading at uh, verse number 1. Say amen if you have it. Amen. amen. If you don't have it, say hold on a second. Amen. amen. St. Mark chapter 5. If you don't have a Bible, look on with the person next to you. Good to see you, Adam. Good to see you, man. Amen. It says, and they came over unto the other side of the sea to the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs. And no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. And the fetters broke in pieces. Neither could any man 
overcame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones. And when he had saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of this man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them out of the country. Now there were that now, now was there now unto the mountain a great herd of swine feeding and all the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them and forthwith Jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the, and the, and the herd ran violently down the steep place into the sea they were about 2,000 and were choked and I'm almost done. And, and they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what, was, what, what, what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil. And had legion sitting clothed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. And they saw it and told how it befell to him what was that the possessed man with the devil and all concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. I want you. I want to use a strange subject tonight. I want you to help me since you sat down quickly before I told you to. I want you to just take your neighbor by the hand. Just take him by the hand. Sit down. Take your neighbor by the hand. The least you could do since you sat down is do what I ask you to do. Take your neighbor by the hand and look at him and ask him, how you doing? How you doing? Tell him, say, I'm glad to see you. Glad to see you. Pastor needs our prayer. Pastor needs our prayer. And all of our amen. Because he's, he's going to preach about somebody. Somebody. Go get Pookie. Go get Pookie. As I look around tonight, most of us here tonight are past the high school age. But I want to take a visit to high school tonight. The scene is Gadara High School. Hmm. <laughs> it's 10 minutes before class. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the scene is Gadara High School. All right. All right. Uh, the colors of Gadara High School is gold and royal purple. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Their mascot is the Gadara Camelites. Mm. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. Yeah. It's 10 minutes before class and there's a group of kids standing in the hallway. You got one group over here where you got young lady, young girls who got bodies like grown women. But they got heads like infants. As a matter of fact, when you look at them trotter, they make older men wish for younger days. Across the hall from them is another group with a boombox playing. 
and one girl in the group, she says, put your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Y'all gonna pray with me just a little bit. Those are the rapping group. And then further up the hallway is another group that don't have on the latest styles. Matter of fact, their pants are flooding and they're wearing what we used to call penny loafers. They got thick glasses on and they got they got always got books in their hand. Those are called the nerds. Are y'all gonna pray with me? Further, further up is a group with bulging biceps and triceps. A sharp six-pack. These are called the jocks. Are y'all still with me here? And, and every girl in school wants to land a jock. All right. Because if he goes pro, yeah. then you're set for life. All right. And, and further up the hallway is another group. Yeah. The pants are sagging there. Uh -huh. they're, they're, they got tattoos on their necks and heads. And yeah. Got a gold rack in them. Are y'all still with me? Yeah. Nobody really wants to bother with them because they're known as the gangsters. The bell rings and everybody goes to English 101. Are y'all still with me? They go to English class and 10 minutes after the bell rings, the door comes open. There's a tall, lanky fella standing at the door. His head is bowed down. His shoulders are humped over. He's 17 years old in the 10th grade. He, 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 he's not there because he really wants to be there. He's there because he has no place else to be. His 87-year-old grandmother can't really take care of him. His mama's in jail and his daddy's on crack. Y'all gonna help me preach this. And, 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 and he's already behind in school, so nobody has real patience for him. It's not that he, he, he don't want to do the work, he just can't do the work. And as a result of that, Adam, he's the butt of everybody's joke. He's been, he's been ostracized, dehumanized, and, and marginalized. Yeah. And because of that, nobody has any patience with him. Nobody wants to take him, take time out and pull him aside and say, I'm going to put in some extra time with you. All right. And so the teacher, when he comes in later, is just about fed up with him. He's so far behind until he can't pass. And then finally, they kick him out of class. Yeah. And when they sit him down to the principal's office, the principal looks at him and says, oh, it's you again. Mm -hmm. Are y'all going to pray with me just a little while? Come on now. They, 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 they suspended for school for three days. And, 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 and while he's out there in the street for three days, he, he's a failure at everything in life. Oh, mm. The local drug dealers pick him up. Oh, and they give him one rock to sell. Are y'all going to talk to me? Oh, they give him one rock to sell at him. Upon giving that rock, he sells it and they celebrate him. It's the first sense of celebration mm. right. yeah. that Pookie has. Yeah. And they give him more rocks to sell and they allow him to be a part of them and he becomes the leading drug dealer on that side of town. Yeah. He becomes Kingpin Pookie. Y'all right. Right. still with me tonight? I wish I had some help in here. Pookie winds up going to jail. Y'all ain't with me. He winds up going to jail. He, he, his 87 year old grandmother is nowhere to be found. Because when he gets out of jail, he, 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 she, she's already passed away. Nobody takes him in. So he starts his old tricks again. Kingpin Pookie. All right. I, I know you're wondering about this fellow. But you know who he is. He's the same fella you left at the house on your way to church. He, he, he's the same young man that, that you want to push him off on somebody else. You, you know who he is. It's the same fella that breaks in your house when you ain't at home. Are y'all going to talk to me just a little while? It's, it, it's the same fella that, that, that rapes your dog. Matter of fact, don't even have to be a boy, it could be a girl. Yeah. It's the same young girl that, that, that you can't seem to get through to 
do. Yeah. And instead of instead of trying to talk to her, you talk at her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the only way she can get accepted is some old fella picks her up and now she's pregnant as a teenager. Oh, yeah. you, you know who oh, she yeah. is. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Brooke could be sitting next to you right now. Oh, yeah. He's the same person that's sitting in church now, been here for about an hour now, and hasn't said amen yet. Oh, he don't even know why he's supposed to be here. You know who he is. Because when he comes to church, he comes to church not out of habit, not out of experience, but out of habit. Because he's looking for something new. So I just thought maybe we could talk about because the church don't have time for Pookie. We too busy having church. We so busy having rehearsal that we don't have time to do evangelism. We're so busy healing wounds inflicted by friendly fire. Yeah. That's that's those of us who sit next to each other. That's those of us who sit in church every Sunday. We're so busy fighting with one another until we suppose to know God. But we haven't took time to go get pookie. And here's the tragic thing. If you don't go get Pookie, come on. Uh, the police will get Pookie. Y'all yeah. yeah. ain't helping me here. We, 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 so, we so messed up about a lion getting killed until our Pookies are getting killed. Yeah. Yeah. And ain't nobody saying nothing about that. As a matter of fact, Pookie got arrested in Walla County. Wind up dead, y'all ain't worried about that. I so I wanted to come because when I read this 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 Markian passage, Mark is a it, it is an exciting book because this chapter of Mark, this this book of Mark has three cases that could wind up as failures, but they turn out to be successes. Right. In every case here, you got you got a man who's got a demon in him. You got you got you got a woman who an issue of blood, yeah. and you got a man whose God is at the point of death, and Jesus takes care of everything. I might be in the wrong place tonight, but is anybody bold enough to help me testify that Jesus can handle anything? Oh no, I must be in the wrong room because you left Pookie at the house, but you, you, you know what the Lord will do for you, but you ain't turned to loose on Pookie. Yeah. Is there anybody bold enough to help me testify that the Lord Get closer to God, but all 
to try to encourage you just because you got a cross on your building just because you got a steeple on the top don't mean you doing what the church do we have a church but we ain't affecting nobody we we got quiet with our praise we, we don't want nobody to know about our celebration we don't want nobody to know that we'll pick you up the streets and do ministry. And so I want to come and talk to you because I'm concerned about our future. Because it used to be